What's up, rich people? It's me, Haley, AKA Mrs. Dow Jones. And I'm here on CNBC's Make It to react to a video about millennial money. Oh, and make sure that you smash the like button on this video. I wanna get more than Kevin O'Leary. Kevin, I'm coming for you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we, first of all, I just say I love the establishing shot of the tiny little lockbox, like immediately intrigued. A lot of people will tell you this is that cash is trash and it's better to have your money invested in something that's gonna produce income. So I'd rather have it in real estate or in equities or any other asset rather than cash itself. Ooh, $280,000 a year, that's a lot of money. And Fort Worth, Texas, no income tax there. So Daddy is taking a lot home. My name is Terrence Bilodeau. I'm 35 years old and I'm a real estate appraiser in Fort Worth, Texas. Would love to see Terrence maybe just take one day off a week. Seven does seem a little extreme, but you know, the man is grinding. Can't hate him on that. Okay, back to the tiny lockbox, obsessed. What keeps me motivated in real estate is that it can evolve over time. So I can start off as a landlord and have a tenant, and then that tenant over time can become a buyer, which just happened in one of my properties last year. I had a tenant who ended her lease and bought a home that was $640,000, and I made a 3% commission as a realtor when representing her as her buyer's agent. Right now I have 11 houses. Wait, he has 11 houses? Okay, continues watching. Checks if he's single. I have 10 rental properties, 10 rental properties. one vacant lot, and then my personal home that I live wow. in. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of properties to manage. Now I know why he works seven days a week. My biggest monthly splurge is on hiatus, which is like a spa, and you can get a monthly facial or monthly massage there for $69 a month. It's worth it to me because I work a lot and I need a place to relax and kind of let go physically. Okay, I definitely am into the fact that he likes to invest in self-care. I am the same way. I have two memberships. I've got one at the TCU gym nearby and I pay $50 a month for that. And then I have a membership at Hotworks, which is $30 a month. I feel accomplished if I can go three times in the week. Okay, $1,000 on food is very high. Terrence, what are you eating? Caviar and sushi every meal? But also I understand that our man's time is worth money. The most I've ever billed is 50,000 in a single month. So each month my tenants pay me $15,800 in rent. $2,500 of that is positive cash flow and about 3,500 of that is uh, principal pay down. He's making a lot of money from appraisals. I might have to go learn how to do appraisals. He's raking it in. So when I was growing up, there were times when we didn't have enough money to pay rent or utilities, so our electricity would get cut off. We always had a fallback, which was my grandma. So we moved to Fort Worth from time to time, and that's where I always had like a steady base. And that motivated me to be a lot more conservative in terms of how much money I spend versus how much money I save. I don't have a savings account. And while I don't have it in terms of liquid savings all the time, I have a lot of it in real estate, which produces cash flow, which to me is a better alternative to cash itself. It's interesting that growing up, he always had a fallback, which was his grandma. But now he doesn't really keep any savings in cash as his fallback. I know that he could sell a property if he was really in a pickle, but squatters rights are really intense from what I've heard. If one of his tenants refused to move out, he could be in a big legal battle and potentially have huge expenses. I would love to see him max out his SEP IRA. 40,000 feels lower than the amount that you're allowed to put in. And SEP IRAs are amazing accounts in terms of tax advantages. Okay, now I understand he does have a $435,000 in investments. 
between his SEP IRA and brokerage accounts, but I still think that he should be maxing out the SEP. I expect to reach my goal of having a net worth of three million in the next four to six years, which is also when I plan to retire as an appraiser. I think he's gonna get there sooner to his goal. Just knowing him, you know, he's always getting places quicker than he thinks he's going to. Travel to me is not really a priority right now because I don't feel like I have everything that I want in terms of going on a vacation because not only do I pay the cost of the vacation itself, but also the revenue that I miss out on when my clients can't send me work. So because I bill, you know, five to $8,000 a week on a pretty regular basis, I would lose that revenue and pay for the vacation too. I personally think that vacation is so worth it. And there also are a ton of studies about investing in experiences and how you get so much out of that. I haven't gotten in this hammock in a while since I bought it, so hopefully it doesn't fall over. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's on the, um, the gravel. Oh my it's God. It's so comfortable. Wow. You guys did that. You you got him good. Terrence, you are a riot. L-O freaking L. If I was to rate Terrence, I would give him a 7.8 out of 10. This man does not have a savings account and is therefore leaving himself open to financial risk and destruction. Like I said, hashtag squatters rights. And I'm deducting points because his quality of life seems a little harsh. What's the good of having all this money and working towards this goal really intensely if you can't once in a while have a drink, go on vacation and enjoy yourself? Okay, gotta go. I'm actually taking Terrence on a surprise trip to Tulum. Shh, don't tell. He really needs a vacation. But please don't forget to come find me, Mrs. Dow Jones on all platforms, especially YouTube. I have an amazing channel and I wanna see you there. Oh, and don't forget, stay rich.